know, Abraham often uh, ponder and uh, talk to himself, saying thus, how much longer do we have to focus on the labor work? It is really not worthy when we have to obey the, the body for any other things except the earth, because the earth produces uh, vegetables and fruits. Thus, uh, keep us alive, yeah? Yeah, sustain us. Yeah. But we have to see the, the earth also needs rain, huh? Mm. If there's no rain, then... Uh, oh, he said that. Yeah, he said if the sky doesn't open to allow rain to come down to the earth, then uh, the earth also cannot produce anything. So Abraham changed his mind. He was thinking that anything else, you know, uh, belongs to the physical. Mm, nothing is better, better than the earth, because the earth produces so many nutritious products to keep us alive. But then he was thinking again, no, but the earth needs rain. <laughs> so, so he thinks the earth is not the, the number one. <laughs> All right. So then he's thinking, oh no, then uh, only the, you know, the sky is worthy for us to worship, you see? Because before he was thinking, oh, everything just to take care of the body is not worthy, you know? Working, working just to earn something to eat or to survive, that's not worthy. So the earth is better. We should better concentrate to worship the earth, you know, not worship the body, not take care too much of the body. And then afterward he was thinking, oh, but the earth, you know, <laughs> needs the rain. <laughs> so now he thinks, if the sky doesn't allow the rain to come down, then the earth is useless. Thus now he thinks the sky is more worthy to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. Right. And then he was seeing the, the sun in the sky. He was thinking, oh, no, the sun gives the whole world brightness, yeah, and brilliant uh, color, so that all the, the trees and fruits and everything can grow, yeah? Yes. yes. And then he said, okay, then only the sun is worthy for us to worship. Yes. Huh? And then the sun... Set. <laughs> he was thinking, huh? Okay, then like that is um, the, the 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 sun is not the the god, you know. It's not the high spirit. That's what he meant, you know. So the sun is also not, <laughs> not worthy enough for him to worship. And then after that, Abraham was thinking, you know, he's weighing back and forth. And he saw the, the moon come out, and then many beautiful, brilliant stars in the sky, and how they brighten the dark night. Yeah. So he said, oh, you know, the moon and the stars, only they are worthy for us to worship. Huh. I'm just checking if I'm recording, <laughs> because you know how professional your master is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. And is it plugged in? Oh, my God. <laughs> One moment, I go check if if the, <laughs> if the electricity is on, because when I don't use the computer, I turn it off. You see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, oh, it's on. Ah. Oh, when as planned today, not like last time. I record only, only the first eight minutes. <laughs> they told me, and the rest just use a still photo. Never mind. Better than nothing. Imagine hundred years ago, where were you, right? Yes. Where was this computer? And you know, even a mobile phone can record me and and all that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's better when we see each other like this, or not? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You can show your show your unshaven face and <laughs> <laughs> your new handsome hat. <laughs> okay, next time, girl, you improve. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe your brother can help you. All right. Yes. I can't. 
I can't. Even this, they had to help me. Yeah, because I can't do it. I don't know how. <laughs> I really cannot. <laughs> yeah, everything they prepare for me, and then I just push a couple of buttons and I work. Oh, I type, you know, I type with two fingers. Yeah, sometimes three. I'm I'm getting better now. I I type sometimes two and a half or three fingers now. <laughs> Before only one, you know, <laughs> only one. <laughs> I'm getting better all the time. A uh, superwoman, no? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, master. <laughs> 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 you know how to please your master, yeah? <laughs> My ego, huh? Mm. Okay. Uh, so now, so now he's uh, thinking of worshiping the uh, the moon and the stars instead, huh? But then in the morning, the moon <laughs> moon disappear. Sometimes the moon doesn't stay all night, right? It yes. depends on it depends on when he was pondering on where he was pondering all this. Yeah. Yes. So then, can you see me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. <laughs> all right. Then everybody's happy. Okay. Huh? Mm. So that we have a little bit more uh, ambience, you know. Yes. Every time just talking, looking at the war and asking <laughs> the war and, and hear the war answer you in the voice of your master. <laughs> It look really like Jewish, you know. They they go and touch the war and worship the war, yeah. Yes. Kiss the war. The uh, the Muslim faithful also the same. This is their memorial, the holy war, yeah, mm. that left over from the the ancient uh, first temples. Yeah, when when they first built it, and also the same in Mecca, yeah, mm -hmm. the holy place of Mecca, they have also the wall, and people also go there and worship. So in their mind, they will remember the master was there, and the prophet uh, Muhammad was there. Peace be upon him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, master. Or oh, God has appeared there, you know, so they make it like a a, a place of worship. Yeah. So every year. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people go there to worship the past uh, master and all prophets, or the past memory of God. Just like the Buddhists also go to Bodhi Bodhgaya, you know, to worship the Bodhi tree. Yes, Although yes, the Buddha is no longer sitting there, but the yes. Bodhi tree is a symbol, you know, yeah. of the Buddha's enlightenment and his blessing and his uh, presence on our planet. Yeah, first they come and worship every year. No, every day actually, not just every year. Just maybe in certain times of the year, there are more than the normal time. Yeah. Yes, yes master. master. Uh, then uh, the moon disappear. You know, it does sometimes <laughs> in the night, and then he say, "Oh, then the moon is also not worthy enough for us to worship as God. You know, as spirit of God. They call it uh, God, the spirit." But they mean God Almighty, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Abraham keeps looking, keeps thinking, keeps pondering. And then he saw the moon disappear, yeah? And the morning star comes out. Oh my God, in Thailand, I saw one morning star. I never saw such a big morning star like this before. I have never seen anywhere such a big morning star, so bright and so near, you know, as if you could touch it. Wow. wow. With with your uh, staircase or steps or something so big, so bright, about oh I don't know about this big, you know my big uh, like my hand oh, right in front wow. of me, and it was where I stay. Wow! You know, in the morning I saw it. Every day, every day, and I thought, oh my God, I don't remember my whole life have never seen such a big morning star like this. So bright and so big, ever so big. So when when this morning star, I'm not sure I wasn't there, you know, when Abraham was looking at it. But when the morning star came, the sun, the moon, and other star disappear. I mean, it's almost morning already, so they faded, you know. So he said, "Oh, then then the moon and star also are not God, not for us to worship, meaning not the Most High, you know." Yeah. yeah. So. This is not our leader, meaning spiritual leader, God Almighty. How come is that one appear and the other disappear? <laughs> you know, uh, he keeps thinking to himself like that. Yeah. 
And they have written something here, probably from the author, is saying this kind of phenomena or event we could compare uh, to just like somebody was walking on the street, on the road, and then uh, saw a very, very big citadel standing, you know, majestic there. And then uh, that, you know, the traveler on the road wants to go inside, uh, but he, he goes around, around, around the uh, citadel's outer wall, but he could not see any entrance. First, he kept calling louder and louder, if anybody's there, to open or to show him the way. But no one answered him. And then he saw on the top of the wall hangs a piece of uh, white white uh, uh, cloth. And then he talked to himself, Oh, surely in this citadel must have, uh, there must be somebody inside this citadel. Because if no one is here, how come uh, this one was hanging there and the other was taken away? Or one thing is taken away and the other one replaced it. And then uh, the guardian of this uh, citadel uh, saw the, the, the traveler was so perplexed and kind of uh, confused. So the guardian of the citadel talked to him. Why do you worry so much? I am here. I am the guardian of this citadel. So, similar with Abraham. This is probably the some comment of the uh, the author. Yeah. So, so similar with Abraham, when uh, he saw something disappear and something else appear, and then he would say. Uh, if nobody is controlling or arranging, yeah, or uh, directing, yeah, if there's nobody who directs behind it, then uh, this, uh, you know, come and go cannot happen, you know, like something comes, something goes. Thus, we should not uh, bow our heads and worship these things, but we have to worship the one who is so behind it who controls it, who arranges it, or the one who manages all this, yeah? And then God, you know, the Holy Spirit, that's what they say here, meaning God, saw that uh, Abraham is so perplexed, so confused, so he told Abraham, you, the one who loves righteousness and hates the uh, wickedness. I guarantee you that I will anoint you uh, in order to promote you above uh, everyone, uh, all the generations in front, uh, before and after you. Has make him above all generations. Yeah, that's what he has said. Wow. Did God ever tell you that? Noah? No, no master. Has probably did, but you're too busy <laughs> working. <laughs> the Supreme Master TV calling. Oh, then we're not busy, then too tired. <laughs> no time. <laughs> oh, all right. Hey, is no more. This folklore, I said, is one of those stories talking about Abraham who has realized the presence of one God, of the God, yeah? The one and only God. In contrary to all other uh, natural worshipping systems before, you know, like many gods at that time, yeah? Worshipping many gods and many uh, um, religious systems at that time. Here, the time, the time that Abraham became awakened, that is the time of uh, maturity. Yeah. In all other stories before him, it should be like a, a adolescent story, adolescent time of religion, or 
maybe some awakening uh, through the curiosity of someone by your mind, but not knowing the the wonder, the mysterious wonder of the universe of God. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, God of Abraham, Abraham, and the Jews people is called Yahweh, and uh, is written like Y H W H only. So Yahweh or Y H W H are the uh, the official ways to call to address God or the spirit of the Israeli people. And uh, according to the the viewpoint of uh, Catholic believers, this will also um, symbolize people, you know, uh, humans. That word has been used, has been translated uh, wrongly. According to the author, not me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not commenting. He says, according to Catholic, wrongly uh, translated. They say it's uh, Jehovah, but originally it's Yahweh. That's what I meant. That's what they think. <laughs> 